everybody, it's Mr. Center Prime, and today I have a video review of the LEGO Monster Fighters The Vampire Hearse, set 9464. This set has 314 pieces and is for ages 8 through 14. So there's the front of your box with the showing all the contents. You get three minifigures in the set. And then on the back it shows that the set glows in the dark. A little teeny comic showing you what happens when he gets all the stones, the vampire, and glow-in-the-dark features. So, without further ado, let's get out and check out the minifigures. Okay, everybody, so our first minifigure is the zombie chauffeur. As you can see, he has the nice outfit on with all the rips. And on the back, just a few more rips. And no second face for him. There's his face right there with no pupils or eye color. And there's his nice chauffeur hat. One more 360 of this zombie chauffeur. Very nicely detailed. He has one brown hand and one gray hand. Or skin tone hand, I guess. And there you have the zombie chauffeur. Next we have Lord Vampire himself, Lord Vampire, I think. No, Lord Lord Vampire. Very nice suit, I guess. Uh he has a sword. And then here he does have two faces, I'll show that later. And he does glow in the dark, which I will show at the end of the video. He has the nice white hands. And on the back he just has buttons and stuff. There's the front again. There's his sword, and his second face, that's his first face, and then his second face is like a mad face. As you can see there, he has a nice black hair piece, same as the Joker's hair piece. One more 360. And there you have Lord Vampire. Our next minifigure is the Monster Fighter. I do not know his name, so maybe you could put that down in the comments if he does have a name. Uh, he does have that one leg that's missing, so he has a robotic leg. That's I'm very fond of that. Uh, the nice detailing over there on his torso. He comes with a pistol, and he does come with dynamite, but that's on his bike, which I will show later. And then there's the back with the, the continuing belt. And then he has a nice like fencing kind of sword, I guess. And then he has a bowler hat or a derby hat, I think. I don't know. Uh, and then he has the, the beard and stuff and the mustache. One more 360 of the monster fighter. There's his pistol, revolver. And there you have the monster fighter. Okay, everybody, so now we get to see the main vehicles, or the main parts of the set. So we'll move our minifigures to the side, and we'll move the best part for last. And we'll get on to the Monster Fighters bike, which is pretty cool. The body of the bike is very nice. I think I need to fix the camera a little bit. The body of the bike is very nice. It's like a dark red with some gray over there. Uh, you get some flames coming out on each side. Rolls nicely. But it doesn't stand up very well. You kind of have to balance it. Like, you can't really roll it. Or just stop it immediately. It does have a holder in the back. The, as I said in the beginning, the monster fighter does come with the dynamite. Or you could put his pistol in there. Whatever you prefer. You know, just snap it in there. And also, you can put his fencing sword in there. Okay, and then for the position you can put the fencing sword is I guess you can put it right there. Like that. But, although that's not very safe. Um, you know, the nice detailing on the bike. The, the headlight. And, of course, you can put your monster fighter there. Uh, let me just position him in the correct position. And you just slide him on there. Fix him up. 
and the fencing how I put the sword I guess the fencing thing it will not stay on that well but you know it's good enough and then he can ride away with the nice flames coming out of the back and there you have the monster fighters motorcycle I guess motorbike there you have it okay everybody so we just saw the monster hunters bike and now we get to see the best part of the set, the hearse, or the hearst, I think, I think it's the hearse. Anyway, sorry everybody, um, you do have a big, like, what do you call it, smoke, muffle, muffler, on both sides, one on each side. Um, we'll start from the front to the back. You do have, I guess those are rear view mirrors, I guess, I don't know, it's a monster truck. Not a month. You know what I mean, everybody. <laughs> um, you do have bones, I guess, to represent a like a V6 or something, or a straight six. I don't know. I don't really know my engines, but uh, it's very nice in the front. Uh, a nice muscle muscle engine, I guess, in the front, and the white bones on each side. And the for the stone this time you get a red stone with a black bat on it, Lego bat. Uh, very nice. If you can see there, it just you just pop it on there, right there. And then this these bones may come off, but there you have it. And then of course, as I said, you have one of these on each side. You have a nice big sticker. This sticker does go in the dark. I will show that at the end of the video along with the glowing vampire. Now, as you see, I just pop this off. Uh, you can pop that off. It just sticks on to, sticks on to there. You see the two studs, that's empty. So it, it does stay on nicely, although it only has two studs holding it together. And, you know, it won't come off until you pull it off. And there's a good amount of room there. You use two of the Lego windows, Lego windshields. You do have a red steering wheel, no white steering wheel in there. No seats or anything for the poor zombie. Uh, and we can put anybody in there, but we'll use the zombie, the zombie chauffeur. So you just pop him in there. I guess right here. And then you can close it. And he can drive the hearse away. Uh, so the hearse rolls very nicely. And I forgot to point out, you do have vampire fangs in the front of the car, which is a very nice touch. Rolls very nicely. It's a very sturdy build. Uh, it leans forward, as you can see, which is pretty nice. Uh, you do have the more telescopes. You get like four telescopes that you used in many different ways. Two there and two on each side there. You do get these, which I will show later. Um, now onto the back. There is no door, I guess. You know, there's no sliding thing over there. Uh, you have more vampire fangs in the back. No license plate. It's gonna get pulled over. <laughs> um, you do have windows on the side, no curtains. Windows on each side, you just have these red things. Um, and you can pull this out to put your vampire in there. I don't want to steal the feature out. But you can pull that out. And it's a nice printed piece, very, very nice printed piece. This is not a sticker. And it's the coffin for the vampire, the Lord Vampire. So you just take off his sword, and you put him in there. That's it. And you close it. If I can. Um, and then you slide him in the back. And I know that I'm not tapping it in. And you're ready to drive away. Okay, so that was the coffin is a little hard to get in there because I don't know if it's really meant to be removed because there is a feature in there which I will show you. As you see, I took off the top. And why do you have these, you may ask? Well, when you push them forward, that will happen. 
I was supposed to fling farther. Let's redo that. That was a little harsh. That was too much. Okay, so anyway, as you see, it will open up and slide out, and the vampire will, for some reason, just fly out at you. Roar. So, um, that's the feature of the set, which is pretty cool. It's, uh, that's why the the coffin is a little hard to put in, because you don't want it to fly out at you when he flies out at you. So, here it is for the last time. Yeah. So, as you saw that, um, that's, I guess, it for the set. It's a very nice set. You do have the lights in the back. Not really lights, but, you know, turning signals and stuff in the back. One more 360 of this very nice vampire hearse. And I will show this at the end of the video. Very nice rolling. And there you have the vampire hearse. Okay, so everybody, you just saw the vampire hearse, the minifigures, and the monster fighter's bike. So now we get to check out the instructions. So this book, this set, not book, the manual can, the set comes with one manual. Ugh. Um, this, as you can see, there is no one there. So this is a very thick manual, actually. Uh, let's see. 66 pages of building and and about 72 pages in all and of course you can win stuff with the screaming kid so that's okay uh, no comic book included with the sets I don't think there are any I'm thinking about DC and stuff so overall this set is a very nice set I highly recommend it due to the features and just that it's one of those Lego vehicles that you wouldn't find in an ordinary Lego City set. The minifigures are somewhat okay, you know, I've never really been fond of this. I've only got this set for the purse, which are what most people are buying it for. Um, I do like the vehicles, they're very nice, um, and as I've been babbling, the ratings for this set, I would probably give this a, well, here we are, everybody, a 10 out of a 10. This is a very highly rated set, in my opinion, and has a lot of playability. Well, not that much, actually, but the features are very nice. So anyway, everybody, so I stopped babbling. Thanks for watching, everybody, and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and this is Mr. Spencer Prime, signing out. Okay, everybody, so as I said that I would show the glowing in the dark, here it is. Uh, there is the sticker, and Lord Vampire's up there. He's laying down on his truck, his hearse. So, there you have the glowing in the dark. His head does glow more than the sticker, but it still is very awesome. His head really stands out in the dark. Ooh. He's in your nightmares, everyone.